What's up, YouTube? Uh, Bryce Bills it all, your favorite AMP, IA, and Part 147 instructor back with another video. And this time I'm going to be talking about when is the best time to start your journey to get an AMP. And the answer is a little bit more complicated than you might think. So you're gonna wanna stick around. Now, I realize I'm in my barn and not actually at the school, and that's because I forgot to bring my memory card yesterday. Had my camera, but not my memory card. What a goober. So here's the thing. Not all 147 programs are created the same. Some start and run 12 month programs, some run 16 month programs, some like us run a 19 month program because we are a public institution. But there is something similar with all of them, which is we all for the most part start with FARS, go all the way through general and then all the way through power plant or airframe and then finish with whatever subject we didn't cover power plant or airframe. And here's why that's important. We often at our school will have students who registered at the main campus or somewhere else or registered online because they saw we were, ta we were teaching classes and we do have open enrollment and they said, I wanna be an AMP, enroll. And they start somewhere in the middle at like shop practices or maybe even weight and balance. And the problem with that is once you miss that first couple of classes, one, the information builds on top of itself, but two, it's actually gonna take you a lot longer to complete the entire program than if you would have just gone through it from day one. And what we will have happen a lot is people come part-time or they'll miss a class here or they'll miss a class there or they'll go part-time for a semester because they had to start a new job. And that's just life. Life gets in the way and these people always persevere. They always end up finishing the program. But what you have to understand is that when you do that, like I said, it throws you out of sync. And we might teach I don't know, random class. We might teach assembly and rigging this semester, but we're not going to teach it in the summer and we're not going to teach it next fall. So it might not even get taught again until next spring because that's just how the catalog, catalog rolls out. So you'll go all the way through and finish and you're done with power plant in some time of like, I don't know, December of 24, but now you're having to wait until almost the end of spring, so March, April, May of 25 to miss to, to just get that one airframe class that you're missing. So why am I making this video? Why am I talking to you? Well, I think it's important that if you can, you want to make sure you've carved out the time, you've adjusted your schedule, you, you're working nights, whatever it is, so that you can start day one with your morning and afternoon class from 7.30 to 4 o'clock or however your program runs and stay in that program until you are fully complete it. Because if you do come late in the first semester or start an airframe, we've actually even had students do that. They've started in the middle of airframe and we're like, hi, who are you? And they're like, oh, I, I registered, you know, online. I saw this class and I, and I decided to take it. And we're like, um, okay. And then we're trying to figure out how to get them through the program as quick as possible, which leads me to another uh, problem that I just remembered. Let's say you are missing that assembly and rigging class and you're also missing power plant electrics. Well, those are different subjects and they might both be taught in the afternoon. So this semester we offer power plant electrics and assembly and rigging, but they overlap. So you can't take both of them. So you can only take one. And then you're gonna have to wait another two semesters to catch the other class because it overlapped with the first one. And Honestly, there's just not a lot we can do about that because of how the program works. It's designed to start and go through to until completion. So if you miss little steps along the way, it takes you a lot longer to finish. But to answer my question when I started this video is when is the best time to get your A&P? When's the best time to start? And that answer would be at, at the beginning of the program. And like I said, not all 147 start the same. Our classes start next week. We start a brand new cohort of students next week, which is gonna be January 16th for those of you who are you know watching in the future or in the past. Um, anyways, we start brand new cohort classes January 16th. And if you can enroll in those classes, great, but that's our specific program. Other programs start a new cohort every six months or every three months, depending on how big that program is. But the point of that is to say that you want to make sure you're starting at the beginning and not somewhere in the middle, no matter where you go. You will go through the program a lot faster and you will be finished a lot faster. I've had plenty of VA students register at our main campus and then they come down to our campus and catch the last two classes of generals and then they fall back in a sink and we have to give them that option. We say, okay, you can wait and come back and start at the beginning of generals next semester 
and then continue with that new cord and just have the end of the semester off. So you'd be off from like October until January. Or you can continue with the cohort you're with, but you're going to have to come back and catch the first half of the general classes you missed. So that is something you should keep in mind and not something a lot of advisors or people might warn you about because they just want to get you enrolled. They want to get you in the program. They want to get you started. And they're not so much thinking about when you should start. For our program, like I said, we're a little different. We are in San Antonio, Texas, and we are not Hallmark College. I always say that. Uh, I, do ne I never mention the school that I work for by name because I am not an authorized representative, nor are my views and opinions authorized by the school, nor are these videos authorized by the school. So I don't say that I teach here. But if you look up Part 147 School San Antonio, you're only going to find two of them, and one of them is Hallmark that we are not Hallmark. And we are also the only community college in San Antonio that offers the program. So what I often tell people is to talk to the program coordinator of our program. Don't talk to the advisors, don't talk to the VA, don't talk to any of the other programs. Come and see our program coordinator. He's my boss, he's one of our instructors, and it's going to work out a lot better for you as far as scheduling goes and figuring out what you need to do. We do also offer night classes where I teach, but those are a little different. They're five hours a day for four days a week, and you only do one, so it actually takes you three years to complete the program. But if you're working, sometimes that is your only option. So. With all that said, that's going to do it all for this video. I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you found it entertaining and helpful. Make sure to leave us a like, leave us a comment, subscribe, join the Discord. Shoot me an email if it's what brings you joy and happiness in your heart. I'll do my best to respond to that. I'm not always the best with my emails, though, to be completely honest. As always, go build something and be easy.